It is a great day to be part of the Dirt Life. In today's video, we're going to be going over a live sales call that I did for a past estimate call. So this is me doing outbound calls to someone that in the past had gotten a quote from us, but for whatever reason, they didn't book with us. And I want to sort of break down the call step by step so that you can hear the things I say, the things she says, and why I do what I do. So this is going to be very in-depth. I'm going to pause this thing a lot and give you my commentary as we go throughout this. Uh, for you, those of you that don't know us, though, my name is James. This is with the company Yard Dogs Lawn Care. We are a lawn care company here in Canada that um, has uh, 14 trucks that go out every single year doing fertilizer and weed control services. This year, we are shooting for $2.7 million in revenue, and uh, we make these videos because we are trying to become the Canada's largest lawn care company, and we have a lot of fun making these videos. So today, um, I'm training up my office staff right now on sales, so I thought I'd make this video for them to really hear what a typical call goes. Now, this is a good call, not going to lie. She was she had a couple questions, but overall, she didn't give me much um, objections after I was able to sort of relay the value to her. So I would give this call for myself. I'd give myself probably a nine out of 10 for this kind of call, maybe an eight and a half. There's a couple things I miss said. And, um, for her on an easy level though, I will probably say this was like, a um, if five is super, super hard, this is probably like a three to three and a half per se. But let's jump right into it because a lot of these calls are all the same. And one thing for lawn care you'll notice is that it is all the same kind of things that happen. It's the same conversations that you have. It is the same objections you hear. It's all all, all the same. You just have to copy and paste and get a little bit better every time. So let's jump right into it. Hello. Oh, hi there. I was just looking for Kate, please. First things first, I start by, I want her to not think I'm a company. I need her to think I'm a person trying to call and get a hold of her. So I'm not starting saying, hi there, my name is James. Just calling with Yard Dogs Lawn Care. How's your day going? Like It turns people off. It really makes people like, you don't want to be associated with another company, another call center calling you to get money, money, money. I want to build a dialogue and sound like a human being. So if you treat someone like a human being, they're going to treat you like a human being. So if I was to call my some random person I was trying to get a hold of, like in my neighborhood, like let's, I don't know, one of my neighbors that didn't know me yet. That's all I'd probably say. Hi there, just looking for John, please. Speaking. Now you introduce yourself. Hi, Kate, my name is James. I'm Mr. John here with Yard Dog Lawn Care. Not too sure if you remember us, but we gave you a quote for lawn care services last season. So right to the point, we don't like to beat around the bush. In Canada, guys, people are polite, but they're kind of rude in, the, in a different way. Like they're very passive aggressive and they need to know the first thing you have to answer is who are you and why the hell are you calling? Those are the big things that they're trying to figure out right away. So right, I get right to the point. I tell them with yard dogs, lawn care. I'm not too sure if you remember us, but we gave you a quote in the past. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good morning. How's your day going? I asked them how their day is going, not be, like to build a little bit of rapport, but here's why. Good. How's yours? Oh, I've been doing good, although I can't believe how busy it's been since the weather's been getting nicer. I ask her because I need her to ask me. Because when she asks me, I'm going to stage the call. It's the first part of the acronym SIP. And I use the SIP framework for all of my call flows. That stands for staging, information, promotion, uh, pricing. Get it wrong. Staging, information. That stands for staging, information, problem, promotion, pricing. We'll get in that, into that in another video here. But by me saying, I can't believe how busy it's been, makes it seem, oh shoot, people are starting to think about lawn care already. I had no idea, there's snow on the ground. Okay, maybe I should start thinking about lawn care too. Maybe I should be busy. Maybe we should get right into this. Maybe I shouldn't spend 10 minutes talking about my dog over the phone. Maybe we should talk about lawn care. James is a busy guy. Sets the stage of the call. Mm -hmm. She's not giving me very enthusiastic answers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't let it fool you. You keep going on, you stay positive, you keep going. Perfect. Hey, the reason for my call, I don't want to take much time of, your, of yours at all. I just wanted to touch base because right now we are doing an early bird pricing still for the upcoming season. I have about 13 spots left for it and it does end next Wednesday. However, I thought with the good savings here, maybe I'll just give you a quick shout again to see if I can have an opportunity to keep your business once more. Yeah, I'll be honest. So not going to lie, I, what I just said was a little bit wordy, but I did want to tell her, hey, I'm calling because I have my early bird pricing. I gave you a quote last year and I want the opportunity to work with you again. 
With you, James, my husband and I decided to go with Weed Man last year, and I was thinking of sticking with them again this season. So the wrong thing to do is just to let her go, oh, you're with Weed Man, no worries at all. Well, thank you so much, have a nice day. No, like, try. Try to get the sale. Like, people want to see that you want their business, you know? You want to work with people that want to work with you. So don't let her off the hook. See if, ask how her experience was with Weed Man. Got it. Uh, thank you so much for letting me know, by the way. How was your experience with them overall? Um, it was pretty good. Yeah, we didn't have any problems with them. Got it. Well, hey, if you had two minutes to chat, I'd love to just go over our options. You know, we are the highest reviewed company here in Calgary with the uh, most reviews as well. Weedman, they're a good company, but they are an international franchise. For Calgary, we've been doing this for 10 years in the city. We know lawn care super well here. And as a local company, not only would we appreciate your support, I'm sure I could actually give you a much better service experience. Okay, so a couple of things here, guys. I don't like bashing competitors. And you don't want to bash competitors because it says a lot about you. I just like to speak to facts. So I mentioned, hey, Weedman is a franchise. They're a large franchise. But we are a local lawn care company. And I do talk about that. We have the most reviews and we have the highest reviews than other, other lawn care company in Calgary. That is true. And I talk about, I like to mention the local lawn care thing. Like I, people want to support local. And because we are truly a local company, I say it all the time. Let's make sure that she knows that we're a local company. We're not a franchise. We are a local company that is trying to do great work here. Don't bash your competitors. Just talk about why you think you are the best option. Let your products speak for themselves. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm willing to listen. Give me your pitch. <laughs> sure thing. And I like that. I like that. Not much of a pitch here, but I, I do have a lot. I really love talking to people here about lot care. So he there's no point in me saying that. I don't know why I did. Here's the deal. First and foremost, you are going to be saving with the early bird pricing. So here it comes now. In this call, guys, because she was a previous lead of mine, I didn't need to collect more information because I already knew it. I knew her first name, last name. I knew her email. I had her address here. And um, um, yeah, that's all I need to know, honestly. Email, address, first name, last name, or phone number. $25 off all the programs I'm about to walk you through. Promotion time. Let's talk about the promotion. Why should she call with us? I didn't need to go over the problem either because I know she's a fertilizer weed control client already of someone else. I don't need to filter her out as a lawn mowing lead. And you do, you are still getting the 2023 pricing. So we will be raising our price for 2024, just the cost of fertilizer and everything. But I still have my 2023 pricing available. So here's the... So here's the promotion, $25 off all of our packages and you get the 2023 pricing. You put those together, it's a significant discount. Right down. The most basic program I have is called the Pomeranian Pack. I like to go from smallest to biggest and end on the biggest and spend a lot of time in the biggest, personally. There's other ways to skin the cap, but that's what I like to do. And what this one's going to give you is season-long fertilizer and unlimited weed control for this entire season. So if you see a single weed pop up at any point throughout the season, let us know. We will do three automatically scheduled visits for you, but you see that weed, you let us know. We're typically back in 48 hours for the touch of spray. That's true, because we have trucks everywhere all the time now that we can actually get to places very quickly. I also made sure to include that, hey, it's three automatically scheduled applications, but let us know if you want a touch-up spray. Because some people are like, wait, I have to call you every time? No, no, no. Call us if you see a weed outside of the three regular scheduled applications. So that uh, price after the price increase and before the discount would be 365 plus GST, but with the early bird pricing right now, it is 307. 50 bucks saving, it's not bad at all. Okay. The step up from that called the gold. Now, after I finished mentioning that package, it's important I don't just go on to the next one. I needed to pause because I need her to say, okay. I need to know that she's still with me. Or she has any follow-up questions on that one. Retriever program, and it's going to include everything from the Pomeranian, but it's also going to have a fall aeration. Uh, that one normally would be 472, but right now it's on for 404. So almost seventy dollars savings. You notice the savings are going up as the package goes up. It's important to do that because you want to make the bigger packages as enticing as possible. And notice I didn't restate what was in the golden tree or the Pomeranian package. I just said, hey, it includes everything from the previous package plus X. You have to make this very simple for her, very easy, so that she understands every step of the way. Four, uh, four zero four. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, I got the Saint Bernard program. Time to really showcase the best package here. Now, this is our best-selling package for our homeowners when they come to us for their first year, and that's because it includes all the great stuff from the Golden Retriever. So you still get the season-long fertilizer, 
the unlimited weed control, and the fall aeration. But there's three additional features in here that I think are really awesome. The first- I went over all the packages so far because I'm going to be bombarding with her a lot of information. I need to make sure she's still with me. So there's six services in the St. Bernard program, and I just highlighted the first three that were in the other ones because I really want to knock the St. Bernard program out of the park. The package that will be sold the most often is the one you spend the most time on. So that's why I'm really gonna really take out my time with the St. Bernard program. This one there is called Premium Super Juicing. A Super Juice is a product that actually- Super Juice is a name that we made up for an existing product that's um, common that really helps break down clay, but we put our own label onto it called Super Juice. Breaks down the clay in your soil. We have very clay that's blonde here in Calgary, so it helps tremendously with that. And as well as it neutralizes the pH of your soil as well. So we have I'm mentioning the pH of the soil because I do an overhead view of her property before I call and I see she has like pine trees. Pine trees, very acidic needles. So I'm trying to really have her resonate with the fact that pH is going to be out of shape there. Beautiful spruce and pine trees here and they're great and they stay green year round, but they add a lot of acidity to our soil with those pine needles. So it helps get the pH to where it needs to be. So that's the super juice. The second thing is called an organic decal application. Okay, I want you to sort of so we had water restrictions here last year because of how dry it was. We don't get a ton of rain where we are. So we people were actually limited how much they're allowed to water. So I'm going to really talk. I've been talking about that a lot when I get to the sea kelp section. And it's been resonating a lot with people because it's relevant and recent. Think of this as sunscreen for your lawn. It helps trap in the moisture so that your lawn... We're talking about lawn care, guys. Make things as um, relatable as possible. Sunscreen for your lawn. They understand what that means. Don't get into the whole science, the chemistry, the technicalities. Keep it simple. They luscious and hydrated, even during those super hot months where we don't get a ton of rain. It's not an alternative to watering, nor is it a substitution, but it does help your watering go a lot further. With the hot summer coming up and the water restrictions last year, I don't know how bad it's going to get this season, but the sea helps, helps tremendously with that. So you'll notice also, I mentioned the watering restrictions, but I made sure it's very clear, this is not an alternative to watering. This is not a substitution. She still needs to water her lawn, but it's gonna help her watering be a lot more efficient. Okay. Last but not least in that, uh, there's a jug of our 911 lawn repair seed. If you have any patchy spots or thinner areas throughout the season, I just recommend- Mistake I made, she was about to say something and I kind of cut her off. A little bit rude of me. I probably should have just let her spoke right there but i decided to go into it i'd say i'm a little bit too wordy right now with the way things are going but yeah when you put down can't be perfect the seed in those areas it's all ready to go so you actually don't need to put down soil with it it's a combination of seed compost and some nutrients to really focus on fixing some of those patchy areas so that's the St. Bernard program normally priced at 637 but with the early bird it is on for 554. Now, out of those three packages that I just mentioned, which one do you think would make the most sense for you? Now, notice that I talked about the St. Bernard program as the most popular package for people when they come to us for the first year. It's very deliberate that I say that because I want her to think, oh, it's my first year. Maybe I should do the St. Bernard program. Mm -hmm. um, I like the sound of the St. Bernard, but like I mentioned, we had... Here comes the first objection. Weed man last year, so I'm not sure it's necessary to get a package with all those treatments. Okay, so she sounds interested, but she doesn't think she needs half the things I'm talking about, which is fair. She sounds like she's actually someone that takes care of her lawn because she hires a company to do it. That's a lot to work with. In it, what's, like, would you recommend I do the Golden Retriever if we had a lawn care company already the year before? So she's asking for my recommendation. This actually means that she's almost sold. That's very important to know. I know that she's actually quite interested and I just need to focus on some finalizing touches. That's a great question, and let me ask you this. What did they do for you exactly last season? Let Keep her talking. I've been talking a lot this phone call. I need her to talk more, so have her explain how things went. Um, it was just fertilizer and weed control. Do you recall when the last time you had your lawn aerated? Um, two years ago. Okay. So I generally speaking do like recommending aeration every single year because it's one of those things that you can do that actually goes a long way because it's all about aeration at the end of it. There's lots of things it can do. You know, so the decompaction is great, but the water retention is another big one about it. And Back to the water retention, water restrictions. I've got to really highlight that. And as the you know, summer is just getting so hot and the water restrictions have becoming a little bit more of an issue, I'm always about conserving water. So. If you did that program last year with them, I would at least recommend the Golden Retriever for this upcoming season 
That being said, the St. Bernard is usually... So notice, like, I'm not even talking about the Pomeranian package. I don't want, like, at this point, I think we can get her for a Golden Retriever or higher. Go for the St. Bernard, land at the Golden Retriever. A go-to for a lot of people because of those three mm -hmm. things that I mentioned. So I'm telling her what most people do. People want to do what other people are doing, herd mentality. So I'm definitely, I keep mentioning that other people do the St. Bernard program. There. Are you still, by the way, are, are you still at um, a 43 Varsity Drive Northwest? So I'm just asking that question just to kind of get a bit of buy-in from her. If she gives me that information, it's a little bit more buy. The more information I can take, um, uh, the better. I actually made a mistake. You're about to find out. I, I was looking at the wrong address. I'm at 215 Varsity Drive Northwest. Which is what I actually had. I was just looking at the wrong thing. 215. Oh, I'm sorry. I was uh, glanced over at the wrong profile there. So like 215 Varsity Drive Northwest. So I noticed it. If you make a mistake, rub it off and keep going. Like, don't spend so much time. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I must have the wrong records. No, I wanted to. Okay, I'm human. Hey, sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. Anyways, move on. Don't dwindle on those mistakes. The front, you have those pine trees. Um, mm -hmm. do you, do you, are those trees actually there or is Google Maps a little bit behind? No, those trees are still there. Got it. So I do think the super juice would really help in that area because you notice that the grass around those pine trees sometimes struggles to grow and stay green. Mm -hmm, definitely, yeah. Yeah, so that's where the super juice is a really cool product there. It, it, it's awesome. It's probably my favorite product at this company. You have to break down the clay in the soil, but the neutralization of the pH those needles are super acidic, which means it's going to lower the pH. So we really want to get the pH back up to seven. because every I'm not trying to sell smart with this whole pH stuff. I've been trying to keep it very simple. Everyone knows that pH should be seven, water seven, for example. And I'm not getting too super technical, but I'm making it sound um, advanced enough where she believes and has conviction that I know what I'm talking about when it comes to the soil quality. I think it works so much better when the pH is seven. Okay. Okay, well, James, the St. Bernard sounds great. I, I would be willing to go with it. The thing is, like I mentioned, we were doing fertilizer and weed control with Weed Man. And so that's a that's a pretty big price jump um, between those two packages from last year and this year. Mm -hmm. So it's not that she thinks it's too expensive. She doesn't see the value of it. So now I need to really highlight why it's worth paying more to get more value. Yeah, if the value makes I sense. Our services are pretty expensive. The Acknowledge your prices are expensive. Don't try to dumb it down. Like it's so, like throwing discounts, more discounts at her is a mistake because it devalues what you just talked about. Tell her why it's worth to pay. It's worth paying the price. If you go Google Weed Man and then Google Yard Dogs, but you will forget that we have the most reviews in the high. Just speak the truth. I was reviews in any other lawn care company in this city, and I'm very confident that you can give us a try. You know, I'm a huge component that you get what you pay for. And I'm always willing, I'm very value driven. I'm usually willing to pay for more things. If I'm, I don't mind paying higher as long as I get more value from it. I'm studying over my words a little bit there. That could have been a lot sharper, but whatever. I do think you're going to definitely see the difference between your lawn this season versus the previous season. And if that doesn't happen, like you and I both lose. Like I want to make your lawn beautiful because it's my goal. Talking about us both winning or both losing, I think is very valuable because she wants to know that like, hey, like, I'm not going to win and then you lose. I lose too because you don't continue services with me. Really make sure that we are on the same team here. Both to take care of you every single season. But if you're not happy, you're not going to renew with us. And then I'm going to lose you as a customer. And that's the last thing I want. I would love to be the last long care company you ever need to work with. I, li I like that one. The last long care company you ever need to work with. I use it all the time. Okay. James, I'm... I think I'm going to go with you guys this year. We'll see how this season. So this is why I rate this call like a three, three to three and a half out of five on difficulty because like normally there, they'd give me one more objection. I need to think about it. I want to chat with my husband and then the difficulty goes from like a four or to a four up to a five. So it can get tricky, but sound like she was the decision maker and that was just a roll the dice. Um, many times out of those situations, she's going to have to think about it. But luckily in this case, she didn't. Go. Okay, perfect. If she needed to think about it, I would go, I would talk, I'd go back to scarcity and urgency. Listen, I only have 13 spots left for this early bird pricing and it does end on this upcoming Wednesday. How about this? I'm going to put you in for this program for now to hold in your spot. You don't need to pay me right now, but I'm going to send you an, info, an email with all the information just so that you can go over it with your husband at a later time if you decide to go another direction. No worries at all. Just please pay me the courtesy of letting me know so I can take you off the list, but at least this way I can lock in your price. That's how you overcome that objection. No, I'd love to get you in there. I'm just going to confirm a couple of details. Thanks.
most reviews and the highest reviews. And- so for the rest of the call, like, um, sorry, I just skipped out there, but I'm just gonna collect, I'm just confirming the information I have. So make sure the first name, last name is right, the email is right, the phone number, the address, and then I ask her, hey, how often do you water your lawn? Um, I ask, I, of course I say, and will that be Visa or MasterCard? And you don't say any more words because the more you stumble over the credit card part, the less confidence they have in you. When you're like, we are a legit company and we have to sound with authority. Perfect. Now, so it's going to be 307 plus GST. Would that be Visa or MasterCard? And let her say it to you. And then um, uh, we do our end of call disclosures. So we just, uh, for the continuous service, we mentioned that uh, we don't knock on the door when we get there. We get right to the work and um, that we are here to serve her. Like, uh, um, make the best, like I can show you some of those at the end here, but do not disturb. That just means that when we are, we're going to get notifications from us 24 to 48 hours before you come by, but the technician's not going to knock on your door when we get there. Would you like them to ring your doorbell though? Or can they just get right to the work? I skipped about two minutes no, to call by no. the way. Just tell them to start working. Okay. Sounds great to me. Perfect. All right. Well, okay. Hey, we are good to go. I'm really looking forward to taking care of your launch here this season. Thank you so much for giving us a shot. And I mean it when I say that we are um, trying to be- So here we're just reaffirming the sale. We're making sure she feels confident with her decision to go. The, uh, the Calgary's best lawn care company. If you ever have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out to us so that we can make sure that we're- Stand by your service. Leader. Tell her how to reach out to you if she's concerned about anything. All right. Thank you so much for your call today, James. Perfect. Thanks a lot, Kate. I'm looking forward to working with you. Have a great day. Bye. Take care. Bye. So guys, that call was 10 minutes and 42 seconds in total, which is a little bit more than average. I feel like it could have been a little closer to eight minutes. I focused a little bit more on her needs. Um, eight minutes is my ideal kind of call. The best calls actually can get down to four minutes. After eight minutes, or after 12 minutes, red flags are going off. I'm not going to book her. So that one is still in a permissible amount of time, 10 minutes and 42 seconds. Um, and I'd give, yeah, I'd give myself an eight and a half out of 10 for that call. Um, I think I handled things pretty well. I did stutter over some things and in, in, you know, in the in example, that was an easier example. So I'll see, if you guys like this kind of videos though, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll definitely get some more difficult calls and show you me uh, overcoming those and whatnot. But I enjoy doing this kind of stuff. It's really good to help train my sales team. If it helps you, I would really appreciate a subscribe and a like, and uh, let us know if you want to see more of this kind of content. Once again, this is The Dirt Life. We're building Canada's largest lawn care company uh, here in Calgary, and uh, I appreciate your time to the end of the video. We will see you in the next one.